Let's, um, let's talk about uh, scales, and uh, I'll pick the key of uh, G. A G scale. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. And to take it up another octave, we'll start on G. Let's talk about that scale there. It only has one sharp in it, which would be F sharp, which would be this. That sharp right there. That's the only sharp that's in the G scale. Um, Here's a G chord, and I'm just going to mess around with the uh, with the G chord and the scale, and uh, give you some forms of uh, different uh, ways of playing a G chord. Um, you can play G this way, or we can play G the old country way, or we can play G this way and a D shape in the uh, 7th fret. Uh, we can also play G in the 10th fret. So all of this is G. Now, if you notice, that was a that's like a little melody there. But three different shapes of G. Now I'm gonna play that scale. The interesting thing about playing a G scale is that you could pick any note to start on and play, uh, let's play G, G chord, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor. F sharp diminished and G. So within the G scale, we could take each one of these notes and form a scale for the G, for A minor. We we'll start on A. F 
shop. Let's have a little fun with it. Uh. Um, another position. And the second position, G. Starting on the B. the scale a little bit more uh, versus second position Also play with it, play with the G scale like by uh doing that with it. Um I really wouldn't I don't, I really don't know what you would call that exactly, but it just piddling around or doodling with the, with the G scale. Now something else that's very interesting that we could do. Um, first position, second position, and the third position. Breaking it up. Now, I want to talk to you about gospel music. I played for the Mighty Clouds of Joy for 15 years, and uh, I had the, the privilege and the honor to work with Shirley Caesar, um, I worked with a lot of people, James Cleveland, Willie Neal Johnson in the keynotes, playing gospel music is a thrill to me. <laughs> 